Hi, I'm Rod Lidstone. I worked as a pipe trades journeyman for 17 years in industry and I've been teaching here at Camosun College now for over 20 years. Hi, I'm Sarah Jane McAndrew Raw. I um, work at Camosun College. Originally in the UK, I worked um, as an essential skills teacher for seven years in a high security prison. My name is Hebron Watson. I'm originally from the Bahamas. I started in engineering, then I switched over to computer science, and now I'm helping out with helping out Camosun Innovates with the uh, BC campus content. My name is Josh Stull. I'm an instructor in the pipe trades here at Camosun College. I've been working here for about five years. Previous to that, I was a residential plumber as well as a steam fitter in the oil and gas industry. I've been very involved with open textbooks and open resources over the last three years. It started as a subject matter expert lead writer in the Trades Excess Common Core project in which we put together 23 open textbooks. Uh, last year, I was involved with BC Campus as a faculty fellow promoting the use of open resources. I've been involved with open textbooks um, with students. Uh, within our department here, I've helped develop some curriculum, some content. We're working on an online um, pipes trade project. What we do is within that, one of the lines we link directly to open textbooks. The benefit that's had to me as coming from like no knowledge at all, as I've learned so much myself, I'm able to double check what's there, I'm able to read it, um, we're able to manipulate it if we want to. It's just such a, a fantastic resource that I wish I'd had when I was in school. The process with with um, with Camosa and Innovates has been completely, I almost want to say transformative for me. For example, the scaffold resource that we actually have up on a Camosa hosted website right now, um, which is just one more way that Camosa is maximizing the use of this open content. As we started to use these resources more and more, we get all these great ideas about other things that we could do to help the students learn the material. And as we try and develop these new ideas, we find we need a lot more people with different expertise. I've worked with so many different areas of the college that I never thought possible. I work very closely with a subject matter expert in the pipe trades. I also come from contract training. I've also worked with audiovisual when they've been helping us film different projects. I've worked with designers and developers with e-learning and who knew that I would be able to be in contact with all of these and get their expertise and you know find common ground and be able to put that into what we do. Then everyone's got ideas and it kind of keeps us going and without these open projects this wouldn't have happened. Programming on a project with a deadline and a budget. My hours are limited, my time is limited, the deadline is there, there's the requirements that have to be met. And so through uh, the research that we've done with people like Rod and uh, Josh, we've actually gathered up the expertise and we've sort of crystallized it into that asset. Collaboration is one of the highlights of Open Textbooks and I've had experiences working with uh, colleagues in my department as well as hearing uh, some positive feedback from other departments. Speaking to a member of the welding department, uh, we spoke of the benefits of sharing ideas and resources to enrich the content uh, to both our, our advantages. Besides just the open textbooks, the fact that they're open and they can be used electronically has really been advantageous for, to our students in that they don't have to pack around textbooks, they have them available to us on their laptops, on their tablets, on their phones. We're also implementing the Trades Open textbooks that we created in more than one trade department at the college here. And on top of that, more and more of the departments are using learning management systems so that there's a one-stop shopping for all of our students. I've actually learned a lot through that process and I believe that um, students will also begin to understand things in a new light. 